were mainly interested in using Jeopardy as a playing field upon which we could do some science. We wanted the ability to use questions that had not been designed for a computer to answer. Jeopardy really represents natural language. You have to understand the English language and all the nuances and all the regionalisms and the slang and the shorthand to play the game, to get the clues. It's not just a piece of information. This name of a boy who can fly can be applied to any emotionally undeveloped man. Christian? What is Peter Pan? Right. Because of the nature of the game, it's going to drive the technology in the right directions. It's got the broad domain aspect. It asks all kinds of things, which is one of the challenges we really wanted to take on. It had the confidence aspect. Don't answer if you don't think you're right. You also had to do it really quickly, and we all knew that to make a technology work, it's got to be responsive. It had all the right elements to make a really good challenge to drive question answering. The rate of growth of information is surpassing our ability to understand it and extract knowledge from it. We decided that we needed to build a system that could extract knowledge at a much faster rate from enormous amounts of data than human beings or any other computer system can do. I Love Lucy for 800. It was Ricky's signature tune and later the name of his club. Watson. What is song? No. <laughs> At the very beginning, there was a version of a system that would take questions and come back with answers, and it was terrible. It's a no-brainer that this Nobel laureate and Secretary of State was made an honorary globetrotter in 1976. Watson. What is Nobel Peace Prize? No. Didn't have a good notion of what's the answer type? What's the question even asking for? That shows a problem with question answering systems in that you work really hard on one domain of questions and then you pick up this, this great thing that you've built and you go apply it to a new domain and it just completely falls down. Our team looked at this and said, you know what, we've got incredible capability here. We can pull together the people that understand the language, understand the supercomputing and we might be able to really move the needle in deep Q&A. In the very beginning, one of my perspectives was, if you think this cannot be done, you're just not gonna work with an open enough and ambitious mindset that's gonna move you forward. So I was really looking for people who were willing to say, I have an idea, I think we can get there from here. And I remember the first integration run, you are putting all these scores together, and the answer came out, and we had made this big jump. We had jumped like 10%. And I was like, aha, there's something to this. There's something to this idea of putting more features into the system, letting a lot of algorithms take a shot at it, and then learning which algorithms am I going to trust? How am I going to merge all this evidence together? The closing of the epiglottis over the vocal cords produced the sound of this. Watson. What is hiccup? Hiccup is correct. I remember when we crossed the 50% you need in order to be making positive money on Jeopardy. Everyone was really excited, but then there was a new line, which was, okay, well, what do we need to become a competitive with a good Jeopardy player? So then there was another line that we were trying to get closer and closer to get, and then eventually we got very close to that, and then there was another line, which was, well, how do the grand champions play? So, Carrie, you're in the first position. You choose first and start us off. Curses for 200. Curses 200. When we were first approached, we thought, well, this is interesting. But I think our major concern was, how do we keep from this becoming a stunt or a gimmick? You got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them. On July 28, 1994, this Texas Ranger with a familiar name did. Watson? What is Kenny Rogers? That is correct. Select again, Watson. But this was different. This was the notion of knowledge acquired by a computer against knowledge acquired and displayed by the best Jeopardy players. What is Oakland Athletics? That is correct. This could be something important, and we want to be a part of it. Many people are going to watch the Jeopardy show and look at Watson and how it competes in Jeopardy and the curiosity of the computer. Here we go in 10, 9, 8. They'll focus on man versus machine. 
But the more interesting general challenge is we are trying to produce a deep question and answer machine which will change the way people interact with computers and machines. This is Jeopardy! We're going to revolutionize, I think, many, many fields. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy! Alex Rebecca!